Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how area differs from the surface area or what is the difference between area and surface area most of us get mo most of us get confused about when we have to refer the area or when we have to find the area or when we can say that we are we have to find the surface area of any object so i'll clear your concept today so watch till end it's very important lecture and it's very useful for you so we'll start with the definition of the area and surface area so area is basically a the space occupied by any flat 2d shape so this is a very simple definition that shows that area you have to find the area of any shape that is two that is 2d that is two dimensional so this is very important concept here 2d shape it means you have to find the area of any shape that is uh, uh, that is two dimensional that have two dimensions or uh, that have uh, only two dimensions that is length and width or height so you can say that area refers to the space occupied by any two dimensional shape so what is surface area so surface area is basically the space occupied by a lateral surface plus area of all faces of the 3d shape now one thing here very important in order to differentiate the area and surface area is you have to find the area of 2d shape and the surface area of a 3d shape so this is the basic difference between area and surface area when you will be asked to find the area of a 2d shape then you will refer to simple area and when you will you will be asked to find the space occupied by an object that is of 3d shape then you have to refer the surface area so i'll give you the example of 2d shape and 3d shape that will help you more to differentiate between the area and surface area let's draw the shape for area for example this is a square this is a 2d shape as this square has length and height so you will be asked to find the area of the square this is a 2d shape it has two dimensions another example of a 2d shape is rectangle now this is also a 2d shape because it has a length and height or you can say width so this is also a 2d shape so whenever you will be asked to find the area you have to find the area of square rectangle circle all the shapes that are two dimensional you have to find the area of 2d shapes similarly another 2d shape is a circle so these are the 2d shapes of which area you will be asked to find now let's move towards the surface area when you will be uh, asked to find the surface area of the Uh, sur surface area of uh, of of a three uh, of an object. You have to find the surface area of a 3D shape. What kind of shape? Let's see. Now, don't get confused about the definition of the surface area that that I have written. I will explain it later. First, you have to understand of which shapes you have to find the surface area. Now, I have drawn a cube here. Now, this cube is a three-dimensional shape. It has three dimensions. So, this is a cube. So, how it is 3D? it has if i label here it has length and width and height so it has three sides this is a 3d shape this shape can hold some things inside it so when we talk about the 3d shapes keep this in mind that it you have to find its surface area you do, do not need to find the area of a 3d shape you have to find the surface area of the 3d shape so this is how surface area differs from the area that you must have a 3d shape in order to find the surface area if we compare the shape of cube with the square then it, then it is clear that square is a simple four sided figure while in cube we have how many squares six squares joined together to form a cube of three dimensional so you have to find the surface area of a 3d shape now this is a cuboid this is also a 3d shape why because it also has length and width and height so it has three sides so in for surface area we should have a 3d shape so cube cuboid if we talk about the uh, if we talk about the 2d shape we will have square and that square will be converted into the 3d if it will be cube in uh, in uh, 2d shape we have a rectangle in 3d shape we have a cuboid so similarly other than this we we also have another um another 3d shape 
of which surface area you can find i'm just giving you the example so that your concept is clear will be clear after that so this is a cylinder if we talk about the top and bottom of this cylinder that is a circle a simple circle that we have seen in area while in surface area we have a cylinder that is a 3d shape that holds something just like cube and cuboid so keep this in mind that surface area and air area differs from uh, differs from each other in terms of shapes of the object so you have to find the area of 2d shape and you have to find the surface area of the of the 3d shape now let's see how you can find the area first of all we'll see area of square so area of square can be uh, found by multiplying the length and the width or you can say length and the height so in terms of the square all these sides are equal and say that one side is l then the other side will also be l that is of the same measurement the third side will also be l and the fourth uh, will also be l so we can say that area of square will be length into length that is equals to length square so this is the area of the square then we have the area of rectangle so in case we have uh, uh, in in case of rectangle we have different length and height so in that case we have to multiply the length by the width so that we can differentiate between the length and width while in case of square we have the same length and the width so we need not to uh, uh, to uh, write separately the width by w then we have the area of the circle that is equals to pi r square where r is the radius of the circle so these are the formulas of some basic shapes uh, of which area you have to uh, find Uh, so that you can have uh, the clear concept that we have to find the area of these shapes by multiplying their sides now in what in, in case of uh, surface area how you will find the surface area of the shapes first of all we will find the surface area of the cube now surface area of the cube is the area of all surfaces of the cube now let's see how many surfaces or how many faces are there so area so area of the cube the uh, surface area of the cube is basic basically the area of all faces of the cube there are six faces of the cube so we we'll, if we take one face and find its area we can multiply it by 6 to find the surface area of the cube so if we take the one face let's say let's say if we take this face of the cube and find its area surface area of cube is equals to the area of all the surfaces including the top and bo bottom or you can say area of all the faces so if we find the area of one face that is the area of this square that we have seen in the area section then we ha can have the area of one square that is l into l multiplied by 6 now 6 means there are six faces and l into l mean area of one face So if we multiply the area of one face with the six, then we'll get the area of the six faces. So it will be equals to six l square. This is the surface area of the cube. Surface area includes all the faces of the cube. So we have six l square. Next, we have to talk about the surface area of a cuboid. I will talk about its the definition of surface area at the end by keeping this example in uh, consideration so that you can have clear concept. Concept. surface area of cuboid now for surface area of the cuboid you know that in cuboid length width and height are all of different measurements so this is basically the definition of cuboid so when we have to find the surface area of a cuboid uh, of a cuboid we have to keep this property of the cuboid in our mind so the sur the formula for surface area of the cuboid is 2 into length into width plus width into height plus height into length how it comes out we will see in our next lecture currently we are just understanding the the concept of area and surface area similarly the surface area of this cylinder will be from here you will understand the concept of lateral surface area 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h now how it comes out is not in the in context of this lecture i will discuss in the next lecture in detail that how you can calculate the surface area of a cylinder now the, my main concern here is to tell you about it that what is the lateral surface area basically the lateral surface area is the surface area without including the area of the top and bottom it means 
lateral surface area is the area of all surfaces except top and bottom. So, here this is the lateral surface area of rectangle. This will be rectangle. If we open this cylinder, we will get a rectangle. So, this will be here we have to consider the area of rectangle. Then we have to add the area of the top and bottom in this area of rectangle in order to get the surface area of this cylinder. So, keep this in mind that surface area of cylinder is actually the sum of the space occupied by the lateral surface as I have discussed in its definition plus the area of all faces of a 3D shape. Now, it means this top and this bottom. So, it means whenever you have to find the surface area of a cylinder, you have to add these three areas together. That is the area of the top, uh, area of the top, area of the bottom plus the area of the lateral surface. Then you will get the surface area of the cylinder. So, it means area and surface area differs from each other in terms of the shape. For plane shapes, you have to find the area and for solid shapes, for 3D shapes, you have to find the surface area and, and sometimes we also call it as total surface area. When we talk about the cylinders in which the total surface area will be the area of top plus bottom plus the later surface area. So, hope so you will now your concept will be clear after this lecture that how area differs from the surface area. So, stay tuned.